Hey everybody, it's me Joyce. Um, due to the good feedback I've gotten from the first couple videos I've done on deodorants and vitamin supplement, um, used to, you know, using items that help relieve HS or prevent those nasty little flare-ups from occurring. Um, so now I'm going to touch on the topic of bathing, showering, washing your ass. Correct. Now keep in mind, all the things I talk about are things I have done and found work well for me. And I feel that if something works well for me, why not tell other people about it so that they can try it and hey, maybe it'll help them. You know, not everything's gonna work for everyone. Um, I'm in touch with this reality. So if it doesn't work for you, I, you know, I'm sorry and that's a big bummer. However, if I just sat on something without sharing it, that wouldn't be cool either. So showering, shower your body, clean your body. Now this is what I do. This is what helps me. I have three dogs. That's Doris Soba and Lucky down there barking at probably nothing. Okay. So I start my shower off. I, okay, so let's pretend I'm in the shower. Don't picture me naked because it's not a pretty sight, but whatever. Um, so I'm in the shower. Get in the shower. I wet my hair, shampoo, rinse the shampoo out. I take my dial, 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 dial. I use the dial white antibacterial deodorant soap. Lather up my poop. I turn off the shower water. Now this, I had an epiphany in the shower one day when, I hope you can hear me over the morons barking downstairs. Um, I was in the shower one day and I was like, wow, you know, all of the beneficial soap is washing down the drain and not staying on my skin and like doing any good. So now every time I go to lather my whole body, I cut off the water, turn off the water, and give this a chance to work on my skin. So lather up with this, okay? Lather up, turn the water back on, rinse the conditioner out of my hair, rinse this lather off my body. Then I take my poof and I use this. Now this is Dial Antibacterial Body Wash. Now this has triclocarbon in it, this has triclosan in it. Don't know if there's any difference, I I'll research it, but okay. You gotta be careful because Dow can be tricky. They'll put the saying, washes away bacteria. I bought that and trust me, it did me no good. So make sure it always says antibacterial, okay? I like this one because it smells real pretty. It's lavender and twilight jasmine. And Dow is really good about putting uh, shower gels out that not only have that good antibacterial agent in it, but it also has a nice feminine smell. Cause I mean, you know, I know we're more concerned with controlling our HS, but we're also girls too, you know, and I'm sorry, I'm a girly girl about certain things. And you know, I like to smell pretty. So, okay, so put this on my shower poof, lather it up, turn the water off, lather my body up, let it sit there for a minute, turn the water on, rinse okay and then move on with my happy life now i came across this and discovered this at one of the dollar stores here on guam called shop for less it's called dr kaufman ir skin germ protection soap and it has like um it says contains active ingredients that fight a broader range of germs that cause skin infections hmm. so i bought two bars um I only bought this a couple days ago, so, okay, let me just say, I do love the way how, like, it makes my skin feel really nice after I use it. This is one, though, you really do have to leave it on your skin for a minute to two minutes. That's what the directions say for best results. So, Dr. Kaufman's Sulfur Soap. Um, it smells really good when you open it, but I notice it has does have a sulfur kind of smell to it. 
Um, but I am currently test driving this one. I've been using it every day. Do notice like the little white heads under my breast seem to be, because I haven't had any real flare ups, but I do still get these little tiny white head type things. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but I started using this and it, it seems to be really helping clear that up. So um, I will have to keep you updated on this here uh, of soap that I keep dropping all over the place. Okay, so when you have like a flare, like I haven't had a really bad flare that has required a, a, a hot Epsom salt soap, but I figured since I'm here, I'm gonna touch on it. So uh, this is what I buy. I buy just the Western Family generic brand. Um, it has everything in it. It has the magnesium salt fade. Um, I follow the directions, two cups of Epsom salt. However, I noticed whenever I would go to the beach and my HS was active, I would notice a significant improvement in my HS after going to the beach. So this got me thinking. I can do this Epsom salt bath, but I could really rock it if I added a bunch of sea salt to the water and, and made my own little ocean in my tub. So this is what I do. I, you know, sometimes I just kind of like to soak in it too. It feels good on my skin, that nice salty feeling. So sometimes it's just nice to soak in an Epsom salt and sea salt bath. I put like a cup, cup and a half of sea salt and it can be pricey to do, but you know, whatever, you just do it. You do whatever it takes, man, right? To, to make these symptoms go away. So, I think that wraps up bathing. Oh, just a quick note, baby wipes. For in between your showers, when you go to the bathroom, it's just a nice feeling to clean up what, to wipe away that bacteria that could cause these flare-ups. I noticed now that I religiously use baby wipes, um, I don't have so to, I don't got nothing going on actually down yonder. So, you know, I, I feel it helps. Um, I try to stay away from all the frou-frou baby wipes. I stick with hypoallergenic sensitive formula. And this one's nice because it has vitamin E, glycerin, and aloe in it. Now I did go and I bought some wipes that had tea tree oil infused in it and they were like five over five bucks for a pack of 80 and I really just didn't see any big wow factor there so I went back to these and I'm just as happy as I could be with my two dollar fifty cent dollar store generic baby wipes so hallelujah on that note all right folks so that does it for bathing. Remember, do create your own ocean in your tub. You don't have to live on the coast to get the most. Make your own ocean, okay? And this, you know, a lot of people don't like using antibacterial agents, but I'm gonna tell you, I've had hydrogenitis for over, and I know I say it wrong, okay? I call it HS, because the way that they pronounce it is so just, Anyways, <laughs> I've had HS for, gosh, since I was about 20. I am 40 now, and I've been using this. Now, my HS journey, it hasn't all been peaches and cream and roses. I've had moments where I've hated my existence, but I do feel this has helped keep, it's kept me from progressing to stage two or stage three. Um, I do have tunnels on my waistline but I'm not a severe stage two I, I, I don't think I am compared to the suffering I have seen on you know in our support groups you know I think that I'm doing all right and I really believe this has been the big consistency all these years is these two right here I've tried to hit the cleanse I've tried all that stuff and it I just felt like it was like washing so much money down the drain um so but this is what works for me again it might not work for you but if i didn't share that would make me a stingy stingy girl so that being said happy bathing enjoy your shower 
wash it all up. So fresh and so clean, clean.